So introduction to medicine and medical nursing. This is important. Then apart from that one, I should also emphasize that there are critical terminologies which we need to understand. And these terminologies are terminologies that will help you in writing your examinations because almost all questions under the essay part or essay component or section, we try to use one or more of these terminologies. So the first terminology is nursing management. The second terminology is medical management. The third terminology is management. The fourth terminology is nursing care. And the fifth terminology, which could be the last one, is nursing care plan. Besides these terminologies, there is an emphasis that each and every one who is about to write any of the qualifying examinations, they need to conceptualize the anatomy and physiology of all systems in detail. So this is again, very important to remember. Let's begin with the first terminology, which is nursing management. Now, if a question is presented before you and they, is an indication that you need to write the nursing management of this condition. What are you supposed to write? One thing that we need to understand that nursing management entails what a nurse is required to do, okay? And apart from that, for easier, understanding of the components that you need to put up. There's this famous term, a prophenema, which arises. And a prophenema is being represented by individualized letters, which of course, each one of them stand for a particular subheading. Now, let me also emphasize that uh, nursing management, you are required to write in paragraph form of the care that you need to give to a particular um, patient. Therefore, the letter A stands for admission. Okay, some would probably say environment. Okay, so admission or environment is almost the same thing. Then P, this is position. Then R stands for rest. Then letter O stands for observations. Letter P stands for psychological care. Letter H stands for hygiene. Letter E stands for exercise. Letter N stands for nutrition. Another letter E stands for elimination. Letter M stands for a, a medication. And A, the last A stands for advice. Now this could be advice that we are giving to this patient at the end of the patient being hospitalized. I should also emphasize that nursing management is written on a patient that has been hospitalized. So in the phrasing of the question, it would be indicated, for example, Mr. XY has been diagnosed with this particular condition and he or she, he has been admitted to your medical ward, write the nursing management. So the first thing that you are beginning with is to write the environment where this patient will be nursed, okay? Which should be well lit and uh, well ventilated and an emphasis as you write each point, give a rationale, give a reason. For example, if you would indicate that the room 
where this patient will be admitted should be well lit. What does that mean? It means that this is for one particular reason, you want to promote easy observation of this patient. Then when you come to position, you also indicate that this patient will be put in this particular con uh, position because we understand some uh, positions are related to a particular condition. So you write, the resting, put up things that you think will promote the resting. When you come to observations, you're observing literally everything. But of course, you begin with the vital signs. Then um, on um, psychological care, you just want to put up points that will help you allay the anxiety or fear of this patient. When you come to hygiene, you now put up points that will promote the hygiene of this patient whilst they're in hospital. For example, you indicate that this patient, if they're bedridden, they're unconscious, you'll be doing bed baths and give a reason as to why you're doing such. It mean, uh, when it comes to same hygiene, for example, you will indicate that I will remove dead linen and all these points you should put up a rationale. On exercise, write one or two sentences indicating which exercise is best suited for your patient. Nutrition, what type of foods are you giving this patient? And by the way, I should emphasize that when you are doing these write-ups, Imagine that this is a well-functional hospital, meaning everything is scattered for. Medication, just write uh, on medication briefly without even going into the details of um, each and every medication, but medication that have been given to the patient. Advice is IEC, information, education, communication. Now, um, a nursing, nursing management, I think, holistically, is what I am trying to emphasize here. We are moving on to the second terminology, which is medical management. So what is medical management? Medical management has uh, actually two components. We have the first component of investigations, the second component of treatment. So as you are writing, it does not necessarily mean that um, you have to put up everywhere all these abettings. By the way, one thing that I needed to stress on, when you're writing your nursing management, the first thing to begin with are AIMS, A-I-M-S okay, or objectives. Maximum, put up three. Then um, when you come to medical management, as I earlier uh, briefly explained, we have two components here. The first one is investigations. The second component, it is treatment or medication. So on the investigations, you also, by the way, when you're writing medical management, firstly, you put up the invest, uh, the the aims, then you come to the investigations, and these aims that you put up are actually encompassing all the components of medical management. So you don't um, necessarily need to write aims for investigations. Again, you write aims for treatment. So on the investigations, we have. Um, a non-invasive uh, investigations, for example, physical examination and history taking, which could be the first thing that you write, okay? I uh, will perform physical examination and tell us which technique you are using, okay? And of course, you're giving a rationale. History taking is also very important. Why are you taking the history, okay? What is it for? 
And which history should I take? The history that you need to take is the history that is related to the condition. These are very brief write-ups, which does not mean everyone, anyone should write maybe full page, just physical examination, no. When you come to invasive um, investigations, these could be laboratory investigations and other investigations. But of course, I should distress that don't write this terminology, non-invasive, invasive. Just write investigation and you know that you are subdividing these into two, which could be non-invasive, you write, and invasive, you write. So never should we see such a terminology appearing anywhere, non-invasive, invasive. When you come to treatment, again on treatment, it's very important that you begin with non-pharmacological um, in, 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 in interventions, for example, change of diet, okay, the resting, etc. Then after I've written that, now we come to the pharmacological. Now this is the use of drug. That's how um, it's also very important that you understand your, your pharmacology very well. So treatment, non-pharmacological, pharmacological, um, uh, subdivisions, okay? And then apart from this, just an emphasis on drug presentation. We need to demonstrate our knowledge through naming the drug, actually presenting the dose, and this is in an adult, by the way, and then what's the action of that drug? What are the side effects of that drug? What is the nursing implication of such a particular drug? Now, nursing implication is actually written um, from one or two side effects that are being presented or which as a result of uh, the patient taking this particular drug. So naming, the dosing, the action side effects, nursing implication, these are critical elements as you present your drugs. There could be some question that may come your way, which would really be specific. They would want you to, of course, name the drug, the dose, the action, and maybe they will indicate that three or four side effects. So drug presentation, this is how it should be done. Let's come to the third terminology, which is management. Remember, firstly, we had uh, the terminology nursing management. Secondly, we had the terminology medical management. And now we have this terminology management. Now, if a question is presented to you and they indicate that you write the management of this condition, this means that you need to write uh, encompass two write-ups in your write-up, the major write-up. So management is subdivided into two. We have nursing management and we have the medical management. The nursing management is what we are being, uh, it's what we were um, abbreviating by our prophedema. Medical management is what we were subdivided into two investigations and treatment. So this is basic management. And it would require that you write as fast as you can, because this is now a bigger uh, presentation of this condition. So that's very important to understand. Now, what could be uh, the guides to how you present your, your write-up? Number one, ensure that your grammar flows nicely. Okay, it should flow nicely. Use correct spellings and your write-up should be very visible. And apart from that, it's very important at all times to plan your write-up. Imagine this exam is in three hours and you are required to write two to three essays. So plan your write-up very well. Do not panic during your examinations. This is a golden rule, just relax. If you feel the examination is just too difficult for you, take in a deep breath. And after which I think it will definitely be of um, help to you, relief. Prepare adequately before any examination. This is key. Study as much as you can. Practice writing as much as you can. If possible, if you can come 
uh, across any past papers. You can use them. They may just be of help because they will really demonstrate to you how these examination questions are being phrased. Then um, what could be the format of these examinations? There is MCQ, multiple choice question, completion, which could be one word or two word answer completion. Then the matching, um, true or false is very rare and uh, ultimately it may not just be there. Then essays, okay? So these are critical components of um, the exam which you may just be sitting for. So we have come to the end of um, this presentation, hoping that um, you got one or two from what was being presented. So for now, we'll end just 